They were going to launch this show called The Activist, uh, where they're going to have these celebrities compete for activism for, for some reason. It made no sense. It's going to feature six activists competing against one another for social media attention for their causes. Usher, uh, Priyanka uh, Chopra, Julianne Huff uh, were going, joining to be the judges. Well, people lit them up, including people like Tiffany Lawton, and they were hot. <laughs> now CBS goes, yeah, we kind of screwed up. Now the show's going to be a documentary special. Global Citizen, CBS, and Live Nation, they partnered on the project, and they released a statement. The activist was designed to show a wide audience the passion, long hours, and ingenuity that activists put into changing the world, hopefully inspiring others to do the same. However, it has become apparent the format of the show, as announced, distracts from the vital work these incredible activists do in their communities every day. The push for a, a global change is not a competition and requires a global effort. As a result, we are changing the format to remove the competitive element uh, and reimagining the concept into a primetime documentary special, air date to be, to be announced. It will showcase the, final, the tireless work of six activists and the impact they have advocating for causes they deeply believe in. Each activist will be awarded a cash grant for the organization of their choice, as was planned for the original show, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Tiffany, uh, let's just be clear. You would never see this type of documentary in primetime on a CBS. Let's just be real clear. If it wasn't for the pushback, so you were, uh, you and Latasha Brown and others were like, "What the hell is this?" I went off. I went off. Um, I let it rip. I went off. Let me say a few things. One, this was so insulting. It was a terribly dumb, stupid idea. Folks who do not participate in political action who have not been committed to protest, to uh, direct action, to campaign organizing, don't understand how much mental, physical, and spiritual energy and strength it takes to do this work. And I'm not, this is not a comparison to other talents, Roland. This is just me talking about this particular show and this dumbass idea. There are people who are currently in jail right now, because they protested Mike Brown's death. There are people who have been killed. There are people who have been shot at by white supremacists. There are people who have taken their own lives because it was too stressful to fight for black lives in a world of white supremacy. So when I saw this article, I was immediately pissed off because I do not think, unlike talent shows, America's Next Top Model, American Idol, all these idol shows, which I do not watch at all. Unlike them, the work of movement building and the issues, immigration, women's reproductive choice, canceling student debt, about health, education, health care, COVID, union jobs, uh, mass incarceration, ending police brutality, those things, voting rights, those things are not in competition with one another and never should be. Neither are the people or leaders who move that work. They should not be in competition. Yes, all of our movements need, deserve, and can get money. We all fundraise. I am literally fighting for a black man's life right now in Colleen, Texas. Marvin Guy, who's been in jail for seven years without trial because of a no-knock hmm. warrant that happened at his house. He's a black man. He's been in jail. He has not had a trial. He has not been sent to prison. And the district mm. attorney has already said that he is trying to kill him. Now, what in the hell would I look like as an organizer coming on a competition show, begging mm. the world and competing against other activists when my homegirl's daddy is about to get deported and my other homeboy is trying to fight so that his school stays open or the teachers in Florida are trying to fight so that they don't have guns at the school? What do we look like fighting and competing with each other in front of the public world where America should have all these things fixed already and then even more so, what the hell do we look like competing for money publicly in front of other people when, and, and the, the, the statement that I saw on CNN said that they were trying to recruit people to the work. This is actually the opposite way to do it. When you create reality TV shows and when you create competitions, you don't recruit people to the work, you make things messy. You create mm. competition, you create evilness, you create pettiness in between the organizers and leaders, which already frankly exists. Roland, you and I talk about this all the time. And we are trying to bring folks together. My old boss, Derek Johnson, president of NAACP, said social justice is not a competition. 
So this show was a direct insult and disrespect to the political prisoners, to the lives that have been lost, and to the organizers like myself who sweat every single day because we do the hard work of knocking on a door to have a conversation about why it's important to vote in the recall in California. We do the hard work, recruiting people in North Carolina, going to a hearing so that they can talk about why redistricting is important in their community. We do the hard work of making sure that Stacey Abrams can run a great race for governor and be the first, first black governor of the state of, in the United States of America. We do the hard work of trying to convince people to vote, even when they know and feel like voting doesn't make a difference in their communities. That was a direct insult. Now, moving on, because now, a couple days later, the statement then came out, and I had already ripped him on social media. Me and Amanda Seals went back and forth on, on social media and in the DMs, talking about how ridiculous this was, uh, and also how ridiculous it was to choose these three these three hosts, because I personally don't know none of them except for Usher. And even though I am a huge Usher fan and plan to go to his residency in Vegas in December, I have never seen him, outside of wearing a T-shirt that said Black Lives Matter, show up to a protest, donate I'm not saying he hasn't. I'm just saying I don't understand why he's the person that they chose to be the host of this show. Moving on to the solution now. I actually also disagree with this documentary idea. I do not think that they should have a series of documentaries about activists. Six special activists should be chosen to go to, um, where is it, Rome for the G20 so they can come to the conference. Listen, I sat on the board for Reebok, for the Human Rights Campaign, where we worked on finding six activists, and we awarded six activists up to $100,000 to do the work that they've been doing. Those young activists were people who were trying to fight to abolish youth prisons in their city. Those young activists were folks who were providing uh, uh, women's um, uh, uh, sanitary napkins and things like that, and also providing a, a, a basic food. They had a food bank for the community that they needed, trying to solve and end homelessness. Those are the things they were trying to do. So instead of us spending money on the show, talk about the work, how about we just fund the work? If Usher wants to get involved, if these judges want to get involved in the work, they can call me, and we can just put them and plug them into the campaign. If we wanted to focus on the actual work that was happening, then celebrities would align themselves with activists, organizers, leaders, and social justice organizations, and they would say, hey, this is the issue that I care about. What can I do to get involved? Now, I have worked with multiple celebrities who do do that. Absolutely. Some of them do it for free, some of them do it for money, but they do it. <laughs> if we really <laughs> want to do that work, let's do that. There are documentaries that already exist, like Ava DuVernay's 13th. There's a documentary, The Khalif Browder Story. There's a documentary that I watched last night. It was not a documentary, but there's a show that I watched last night, Blood Brothers. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Greg Carr has the show with uh, Karen Hunter on Sundays. They just got finished talking about that. I watched that on the class. They also have a show, Self Made. They also have a show, and these are all on Netflix and they're all free. There's also uh, Shape Moisture. I was on their board because we just funded three organizations up to $150,000 so that they can continue to do work that they wanted to do in the community. Money is being given out. Organizations are stepping up to the plate. This show is a dumb idea. The documentary is a dumb idea. And if they actually want to be invested in recruiting people to the movement, they can have a conversation with myself. They can fund the organizations that are doing the work on the ground. And they can, they can uh, 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 help celebrities get connected to issues and organizations that align with the mission and the values of the work that they want to do. We will not make social justice a competition, especially when we're still out here fighting for basic stuff like voting rights. Now go catch your plane. <laughs> now go catch, now go, go catch your plane. This is ridiculous, Uncle Roland. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. I was so insulted. I was so insulted. I was like, this is actually like reality shows. I don't like social media. It's already moving us into the age where things are in competition with each other. Right. Why is it that I am trying to fight Congress and trying to fight Texas so that women can 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 uh, can make decisions over their own bodies? Why am I trying to end police brutality? Why are we trying to save Julius Jones's life in Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. Those are, that's enough competition in and of itself. I already have to fight America for America to do what I needed to do so that I can live free and black in this country. We do not need a show where I have to battle other people to do the same thing. That is stupid. Absolutely Amen. stupid. All right. You do have the flight to catch. I do got a flight to catch. I can't wait to see you. I love you. Dr. Greg Carr, uh, I'm going to text you because, sir. Yes, ma'am. Dodge me no more. We have to have no. lunch or something. <laughs> No doubt, no doubt. And, no I'm, doubt. and I'm sure you're going somewhere, where, and I'm sure you're going somewhere where you, where you can do a yoga headstand. Go, go. <laughs> you didn't see my IG, I just did that. You didn't see me? Yes, I yes, I saw it. Yes, I saw it. <laughs> Stay black, I love y'all. Yes, love you too, <laughs> bye. Folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment.
BlackOwnedCompany.com is a black-owned company uh, founded by Mary Spio. It's a virtual reality company where you can actually go there and look at their uh, virtual reality content. A couple of devices they actually have for sale that you might be interested in. First off, their VR headset allows for you to slide your phone right in and experience that virtual reality content uh, on their side of watch the 360-degree video. Also, uh, there are 360-degree headphones, a tremendous base used for gaming, Bluetooth, phone calls, you name it. Uh, folks, you can get these two at seek.com using this promo code RMVIP21, RMVIP21. Uh, you buy one or the other or even both. A portion of the proceeds come back to us here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. And so uh, we want you to check out seek.com and give it a try.